Holy shit. Can I have a ladder? Sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Sorry, I'm on my way. <laughs> Sorry, <didn't> I didn't. <laughs> <Ooh, ahh. laughs> Quick, help! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quick, just grab my leg. Grab my leg. I'll be dead. You know, because it's in big lights. <laughs> Everyone say, meow! Meow! <laughs> Sorry, I love that noise. I collect them, you see. I've got loads of them. I'll give you an example. Um, I can do this one. Right, don't worry, I've got more. Um, I can do this one. This one. This one. This one. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the BBC. I can also do a noise like that long plastic tube that you get at Christmas. You know, the one where you turn it upside down and it goes... <laughs> He goes, <laughs> If you shake it, it goes, <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking, what has this crazy man been up to since his audition? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have just started my own company, and tonight I'm releasing my first product. I'm so excited about it. I brought it along. Here it is. Now, this may just look like a little silver ball, but ladies and gentlemen, I call this the sexy detector. I'll explain how it works. What you do, right, is you place the ball between these two fingers and then you place your thumb against your nose and you drop it. And however high it bounces tells me how sexy I am. I'll give you an example. You ready, Leisha? <laughs> Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I am that sexy. <laughs> It's not funny. Would you like a go? Anne, you're a sexy man. Come and have a go. Give Anne a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Anne. It's really easy, right? All you do is hold it against two fingers, put your thumb against your nose, and drop it. Ready? Go. That's awkward, isn't it? I should have used deck. Listen, Anne, uh, I've got a very special present for you. I've got something I want to give to you. Okay. But for this, I need you to follow me. Come up the stairs for a okay. second. Come and stand on this step just there. Okay. Excellent. To your left a tiny bit. Perfect, stay there. And I have a very, oh, so hang on. I have a very special present for you, but you have to choose it. For this, ladies right. and gentlemen, over here on this table, I have a little black cup. Inside this cup, and I have something I want you to have a look at. Hold out your hand. Right. It's a dice. Woohoo! Woo Check it out. Just make sure it's an ordinary dice. Make sure all the numbers are different. Yep. If you're happy, say meow, meow. <laughs> Perfect, I'll take the dice. Have a look at the cup. Make sure there's no holes in the cup so the dice can't fall through. If you're happy, say <laughs> Brilliant, that'll do. <laughs> Watch very carefully. I'm going to take this dice. I'm going to place the dice inside the cup. When I do, Ant will take his hand and place his hand on top of the cup. It works every time. Watch this. Oh, you're good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I shout go, Ant is going to shake that cup like a crazy lady. Then, whenever he gets the urge, <laughs> He's going to stop shaking. He's going to take his hand off the top of the cup, look down and see a number. He's going to tell you what that number is, and then he's going to collect his prize from one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, over on this table, I have what I like to call the Stick of Doom. <laughs> on, this six, on this stick are six different playing cards. Ladies and gentlemen, Ant, written on the backs of all of these cards, yep. is something that I'm going to do to you. Okay. okay. Don't worry about it, Ant. Just shake the cup. Oh, he stopped. Quick, tell everybody what number have you got? Five. A five? What? No one's ever picked number five before. Quick, put the cup on the floor. Quick, grab playing card number five and show everybody. What have you won? Hug. 
A wall? A hug. You want a hug? Yeah. Come on then. Okay. Off you. Hug off you. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Andy. You're fine. You can go, thanks. Thank you. Well done. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wow! Well done, Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, David, let's start with you, please. Are you looking at me? Yes, yeah, I'm looking sorry, at you. Sorry, you've got a bit of a lazy eye, so it's hard to know sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, that was great. I love kind of, you know, I grew up watching Morecambe and Wise, as I know these guys did. They're huge fans as well. Tommy Cooper. So I love this kind of old style of comedy, really family friendly. Um, you are a brilliant entertainer. I wish you'd have had a bit more time because I know you were cramming lots in. <laughs> But it was really inventive, and you covered so many angles there. Physical comedy, uh, you know, interaction with members of the public, which is really what they are. <laughs> <laughs> I still have more, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and also jokes, too, so I think you did really well tonight, Matt. Well done. Thank you. Well, yeah, you are very, very likeable. Um, you remind me of Jim Carrey in a really good way. And That's I love good. your physical comedy. I think, like David said, very family friendly. I could imagine you at the Royal Variety. <gasps> I, I, yeah, <laughs> and I agree. I think you almost need more time. Because I would like to see more of you. You're wonderful. Yeah, you reminded me of the kind of programmes that I was allowed to stay up and watch when I was a kid. I think he looks like a cross between Lee Evans and Robbie Williams. If we're going for <laughs> looky likeies. Um, yeah, I, honestly, you make it look a lot easier than it actually is because there is so much you were doing there. You're very funny, you're very charming, it was very slick. The boys did a great job in helping you. I would love to see something like this in the final because, as the guy said, this is perfect variety. Brilliant. Simon! <laughs> you're like, Simon, you're like, you're like, come on. You're like proud old parents, aren't you, you two? Well, come on, you. You are proud old parents. We are. I tell you what I think. I said this earlier on about one of the singers, about, you know, what can you, what can you hope to achieve on the back of one of these shows? And what you managed to do, and boy, you crammed a lot in there, is that you showed me and everyone else that you've got this force of personality where you can carry a show. So, fortunately, there are one or two people up in the gallery now who work for ITV. I would be thinking, if I was them and I was launching a new game show or something, I would book you to front the show in a heartbeat. I would. Because, look, what's important on this show is, where do you go? What do you use this time for when you're in front of 10 million people? And I think this was a perfect... Actually, it was 10 combined, darling. <laughs> it was um, it consolidated 12. Um, I think, um, not that I'm watching, but no, this was a great audition for you. Thank and, you. and I think people are going to get you. Guys, great choice. Thank, Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.